All right, so today we're gonna dive into the standard deviation function in Microsoft Excel, specifically the dot S or the sample standard deviation. We're also gonna look quickly at the difference between this and the standard deviation dot P or the population standard deviation. And so let's go ahead and jump in and show you what this looks like. We're going to open our function here and it's just STDEV. And then we're just going to enter in a couple sample numbers. And so you can select numbers in the Excel sheet or you can put them in here manually. And so let's just do a couple sample numbers just to show you what the difference is between these two. And so here is the dot S and then we're just gonna copy this. And then down here, we're just gonna change this to P. And so you can see that we have the same numbers here that we're using as our input and we have a different output. And so these are both standard deviation, but the dot S is the sample standard deviation. And so what this is assuming is that you do not have the full data set that's being used in this formula. Whereas the dot P or the population standard deviation is assuming it has the full data. And so you'll know which one you want to use based on if you are looking at all the data that you have or only a sample of that data. And so one thing you will notice is the sample deviation will be a little higher than the population deviation because it's accounting for the data that it does not have. So enough of those comparisons, let's look at how to use this in some sample data sets. And so here we have some sample sales. And so we wanna see how far the sales deviate from the norm. And so we're gonna use our standard deviation dot S and then we're only gonna select part of the data. And so we'll go down to here, for example, and then we close that out. And there is our standard deviation for our sample data set. And then again, we have a simplified data set over here. And so we can do the same thing. And then select part of our data set and see what our deviation looks like. So that is how you would use that function to look at a sample of the data. And in this case, if this whole part was a sample, obviously then we could take this down to row 21. And if this was just the sample data that we're using to calculate our deviation, then this is the appropriate way that we would use that. So we've quickly explored the power and versatility of the standard deviation dot s function in microsoft excel and this allows you to implement practical applications across various industries so to take your data analysis to the next level consider exploring coefficients suite of software tools to help streamline and enhance your workflow as always thanks for watching and see you again soon